Hi YouTube, Helicopter Pilot 16 here. I am making a video of a wing part that I'm building out of paper again, another thing. This isn't the full wing, mind you, this is just an example of a uh, high lift device known as a leading edge slat. No, not a slot, no, not a uh, leading edge flap, but a slat that comes out. This is more similar to a Airbus slat. This will go flat against the wing once I have this finished. And then it will come out and come out down at a curve, not just a straight line of travel. So it will come out and it will go down in the end here that's visible. We'll go all the way to the uh, end of the uh, sharp leading edge here. And it forms flat against the bottom, pretty flat. I know you can see holes, but once it's actually on there, it'll form flat. It's just I don't have a... Uh, full proof working system of closing it and opening it but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim these and then uh, clamp a uh, flat piece of paper that goes along the whole length of this so I can pull and then pull the leading edge to have it come out this is just an example design this isn't like a working idea for remote controls or anything but this gives you some idea of how slats work other than the fact that instead of it being the tracks that are uh, not flat this way, but flat um, across the ways. Instead of it being inside there, it would be like a a flat piece instead of it being straight like it is right now. And it'll uh, slide out and it gives it more strength when it gets pushed up. But I didn't really... I tried to figure that out at school. I drew, and drew it on a few pieces of paper and it didn't really come to terms. So I don't think it would have worked out the best. This is so far working out better. Um, I think that one might work a little bit better, so I'm going to try doing this, and if this works out, then I'm going to, or if even if it doesn't work out, but so far it has, so far it moves fine and stuff like that. Um, I'll probably just uh, try that again, because the way I have this is right there is folded pieces of paper that are like tubes that each one of these enter, but this is an, a, length, a bit lengthened more. Is inside there. I have attached them again to another piece because they were too short. Um, so I might try that again, and it's going to have to be made of stiffer paper than this. I might even try to collect um, cards of some sort, like business cards type things. Not business cards, but like credit card material, and try to make it out of that. And it will be a bit smaller, I'm sure, when I do it that way. But the biggest, hardest part was trying to make the slat itself. But as you can see, there are three spacers. I planned there to be five, one on each end, but it didn't really work out. I thought I was going to end up throwing this whole thing away. I'm, I came this close to crushing it, so I'm glad I threw it to my floor and didn't decide to break it, so I just kept on going with it, and it turned out well, so I'll show you the next part for, that comes right up after this about it finished, so this is how far I am now, and here I am finished. Finally, everyone's done bugging me, but here's the uh, finished product, finally. Um, you can see I have the handle to pull back, and that one's kind of loose. I, it's very hard to get it to form against the wing, but at least I got it this good. It still looks like a slat, and if it was to be used, it would be blown against the surface of the wing. So This, again, is just an example of how a slat works. Um, not exactly how, I work, how they work, but... This is a pretty good representation of the movement of a slat instead of it just coming out straight at a straight line and instead of the angle it should like this actually does. And as you know, the, these go all the way through, inside here, all the way down into uh, rolled up pieces of paper that are like sleeves or whatever that come out at the very tip of this part. Um, not, not the slat itself because the slat is separate. Um, let me push it out. Maybe I could try to do this with one hand. I have to do it carefully, otherwise I might break something. Oh, come on. The other side doesn't want to go. Come on. I've been screwing around with that side because this, like I said, that one doesn't want to come out as well, so maybe here. Come on. So there's my representation of a 
leading edge slat. This is a slat, not a slot, not a uh, flap, but a slat. Um, as you can see, those four strips of paper come out there. Um, it's not really even, but still works with representing what it is. Um, I can make it even. There we go. The, my stuff I used. For mostly, I used double-sided tape. I didn't even touch that tape. And I used a razor and a bunch of um, card. Not cardstock, but... I mean, I have the cardstock right there, but... I didn't use cardstock on this. This was mainly just... Um, well, the spar was. That was just to give it strength so it doesn't topple or... I mean, crumble. But as you can see, there's the slat, rolled pieces of a rolled piece of paper with three ribs inside of it to give it structure. Then uh, those uh, little strips of paper as a uh, extending device or a track, as they prefer to call them, and it forms up against the wing. Um, not the best, but it still represent re represents it well. Um, doesn't form exactly to it because again this is paper um, and as I trace stuff it tends to expand the size of it a tiny bit because I all I did was I took a piece of paper for the idea and drew this airfoil and drew the airfoil um, just with my hands I drew a cord line and then just decided to draw the airfoil I wonder if I have the uh, actual first ones that I actually made it with just a second um, I'm not seeing them. Nope. Oh, I have another slat device. I, this is more like a slat, but let me show you now. So, here's the wing again. I'll put it right side up. Again, it's not forming to the wing. Who gives? But see, here's a different slat idea. I just wanted to see if uh, an idea with those strips would work. So, this one actually uh, slides in like that. And this is a two-layered sheet inside there. If you look through my light, you can see in there how that forms inside there. And then it just, just at the very edge, right by the end of the paper there, there is a piece of double-sided tape stopping it from coming out. And I cut this out with a razor so that it was uh, hollow and I didn't have to make several pieces. The slat and the inside part, are one piece but this is more like a slap because it only comes straight out it does not protrude downward and there's the slat. this isn't really a good representation it doesn't really do much for lift because I can just move it across my uh, path like this and it doesn't seem to do much difference but these are my two that's just the dumb one I made um, this is more the one I really like since it really does represent a slat well and it forms a nice hair foil when it's together um actually the leading edge not the full hair foil but the edge is pretty smooth and again these are the reasons they have slats are to uh, um, ease the uh, negotiation of the angle that the air has to pass over to the leading edge so rather than a plane flying at an angle like this pretend the camera's angle is the relative wind and this is the angle of the wing a slat would come out and <clears throat> come on I didn't have this problem before there we go came out smoothly and it will help that air negotiate because this is at the actual same angle and then the air hits the leading edge when it's down low and it helps this get negotiated and the reason they have air slots is to uh, give it a uh, another element airfoil this an element if you don't know what that is I'll give you an example the uh, 737 300 or 737 series all the way up to 600 that is a five element airfoil in saying that it has one slat the main wing and a three section three element flap where it has a leading edge of the flap the middle part of the flap and the flap of the flap which is kind of funny to think about but really that's what it is the flap is pretty much a single wing and again these help to increase the uh, cord of the wing giving it more area 
so that this actually produces lift, the wing produces lift, and each single section on a flap would re produce lift. My thing I've always wanted to do was to recreate a uh, slotted flap, a uh, double or triple slotted flap, flap like I just said. But the uh, mechanism in going into that is very difficult, but doable. It's just going to take machining instead of paper. Um, this is pretty much it. Um, I just wanted to show this because it's something else I made. Uh, so I'm at like seven minutes. So I don't want to make this too long. So thanks for watching anyway. Um, as you know, I have a few videos saying stuff about engineering type stuff like my F-18 wing model. Um, hasn't had too many views, but who cares. My uh, J-79 turbojet engine uh, exhaust sound explanation, which uh, worked out really well. I never knew I could do that until I actually did it. Um, this actually was pretty cool. So thanks for watching, and... Uh, Comment, rate, subscribe if you want to. Um, please comment with your questions, any concern about this, uh, ideas. Thanks for watching.